Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Hello y'all, I'm Ariana. But honestly y'all, today I have to clean up. I have to clean up. I really need to start making furniture and get everything ready for me to move in here full time. And like I said, I'm trying to be in here by the first week of July. So roughly I'm giving myself about 30 days y'all. Maybe a little bit more, maybe 40, you know. But about 30 days, I'm trying to move in. So I have a lot of work ahead of me, y'all. Like, a lot. So I'm going to try to move everything out, almost everything out, so that I can take measurements and start building furniture. So without further ado, let's get to it, y'all. Let's hurry up because um, I want to do it before it gets too hot in the day. <laughs> let's go, y'all. So I already started to move stuff out. So it is a complete mess in here. I'm going to show y'all what it's looking like. You know, like, like I said, don't be trying to judge me too hard. Because like I said, I'm in the moving process of moving stuff out of here. So it is dirty. But you know, it is what it is. It's life, y'all. So, don't judge me too hard. This is how we are right now. This is where we at. started to do I don't want to say yoga but I've, I've started stretching again and I don't know if y'all know but for me anytime I do yoga or any type of stretching I, I slim out like that it's crazy so yes y'all my back my body's coming back her body is coming back yes she just keep working out keep working out hey Keep working out. Keep working out. Keep working out. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. All right, now. I'm going to get back to it. <laughs> I also got a new gas cap, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on, and hopefully that helps too, but we shall see. So it is key lock now, thank goodness. Cause I'm not gonna lie, on the road I used to always get scared that someone might steal my gas in the middle of the night. So now it is secure, no one can steal my gas. Yes, okay, I feel better. And let's see if my check engine light turns off now. We'll see. If not, I'm still gonna get everything fixed, but we're gonna try everything that's cheap first. Let's get back to it. Let me show y'all what's going on. So, yesterday when I was driving, I noticed that this came off of the wall. Yes, y'all, it came off the wall, so I definitely have to make a new sink and cabinet area as soon as possible. Look at this. So, I took the little sink part out, but look, as y'all can see, the backing to the cabinet came all the way off. So, this is the back. all the way off the cabinet I 
So as y'all can see, it is detached. So I'm thinking about switching up my floor plan. Like what I thought I wanted to do, I may have to switch it up just a little bit. Originally, I wanted my kitchen area right here to cover like half this door. So when you open the door, like the back of the kitchen is right here. And I wanted it like that so that it would be easier to vent and I could just open the doors when I cook, right? Mm -hmm. But having to build something under here, right here, so that the cabinet can so that the cabinet can sit on would be good. But then I, something else I noticed was this window does not open so I would have to fix that window first for me to even be able to put it over here to cook so I just kept it over here since there's a window over there so I had to change that I'm gonna build I'm gonna build like a new sink area and I want it all connected so I kind of want like a little sink area right and then it may be in the middle some drawers you know like put silverware and all that stuff and then right here in front of the um, window I want to keep the oven again unless I can put it over here because that would be kind of dope to kind of have you know the stuff over here but again we will see but for right now I'm just going to try to build it out so it's over here and then y'all what else I want to do for my bed I don't know if I want, you know, just the platform bed or if I want to build a bench bed that you can pull out. Ideally, I would want the bench bed so that, you know, I can have more room during the day to work out, do whatever I want, and then just pull it out at night. I really love that. Uh-uh, something's on me. Uh-uh. Hold on. And what the heck is that? Alright y'all, so ideally I think I would want, you know, the bed you can pull out. I like to have a lot of space. I like to work out, dance, be silly. Y'all seen it, so I need as much space as possible. But with the platform bed, I would be able just to have the bed going across, right? And then I would have plenty of storage, plenty of space underneath the bed to have stuff. So I can have like clothes under there, tools, miscellaneous stuff, you know? Whereas if I built the bench bed that pulls out, I may be able to build like compartments underneath the bed. But again, I wouldn't be able to access it probably once the bed is pulled out. That's okay, but with the bench bed, I'm definitely going to have to build cabinets just to have more storage. So y'all let me know what y'all think, bench bed or the platform. I'm not really sure because I'm not gonna lie y'all I am scared to death to try to build cabinets I'm scared to even try to attempt to build this little kitchen area like a little kitchen cabinet I'm so intimidated by it that's why I haven't tried it yet but it's time to be scared so in about a day or two I'm gonna just go ahead and go to Home Depot pick up a lot of wood and figure it out we just gonna have to figure it out so that's what I'm thinking guys of course gonna clean out all of this but for right now ideally I would like to have a small cabinet right here so or just like a cupboard a cupboard I think yeah so maybe beginning like right here and then going to about right here so maybe like two or three feet you know what I mean not big at all just something that I can put like dry food canned food whatever i kind of want to build it right here yeah. oh my god stop these flies y'all i'm gonna have to figure something out because i don't like that i, I don't do bugs very well as y'all can see <sighs> i need to get nets i know like you know the magnetic nets i need to get that and I need to get like a bug zapper, like a magnetic, like not magnetic, <laughs> like an electrical bug zapper. You know what I mean? If anyone has seen those, let me know. Actually, I'm going to check Amazon. I think I've seen them. But I need one of those because this is crazy. Okay. 
So I'm thinking about doing that. Maybe from like right here back, make that like an itty bitty little closet space. But then I have a question, one more question y'all, and then I'm gonna let y'all go. If I do it like that, let's say I have like a little closet over here. Let's say I have a pull out bed right here and my kitchen area is still over there, right? Is that too much weight on one side of the van? I don't know, cause I'm not, like I said, I'm not an architect. I'm not good with building or anything like that. I don't know. But is that too much weight on this side of the van? I don't know. I'm still gonna have to figure this out. But if y'all have seen any good builds that has like a stove in it, let me know. Drop it below y'all, cause I really need some help. I've been looking and I found a couple good ones but it's just building something to hold it which is the scary part for me building anything it was scary to even cut this wood to put on the wall so building something y'all i'm a little nervous but i'm gonna try but this is that's kind of how i want my layout to go um yeah that, that's really it i'm sorry i feel like it's a pretty boring video today i'm sorry y'all but just trying to figure out everything I think I got it though. So now I need to go to the store, start buying wood. Today I'm going to go ahead and get a couple measurements and then we're going to start, y'all. We're going to start building and try to get myself in here in 30 days, y'all. I need y'all help. I need y'all help. I'm going to be asking a lot of questions. I'm going to put a few polls up because I really just need help. I'm not great with, like I said, um, I'm not great with designing things too too much sometimes so you know and then I don't even know where I'm going to put my fridge I have to first off figure out the fridge I want to buy because right now the fridge I have is just it doesn't work really so it doesn't get cold so I'm just using it as a cooler right now and I want to get another one I don't know where I'm going to put it though it's so much y'all so much I have to think of because I was thinking about like if I get another fridge that looks similar to the one I have I could build like maybe a little box right here maybe from like right here to like right here build a little box and have the fridge in the box so yeah so maybe like from like right here so like right here you know build a little box for the fridge to go in and then maybe it can also be like a place for people to sit or for me to sit wouldn't come out too far maybe like this you know so I don't know y'all I'm still figuring everything out I'm sure I'm probably going to change some of this along the way but hey it is what it is all right y'all so I'm tripping I really almost forgot something but I have to do some shout outs I've been saying this for a minute and I have to show some of y'all some love because y'all show me so much love. So here we go. This is in no particular order, okay? And if I didn't get around to you, don't worry about it. I'm gonna start doing shout outs to my videos. So if you don't hear your name this time, please don't feel any type of way. I'm gonna get around to you, I promise. If I pronounce the name wrong, I really do apologize. I suck at pronouncing names, but I'm gonna try my best, so here we go. So I don't know if it's Enoch or Enoch. I'm not sure, I might be butchering that name, but thank you so much for the support. I have to give a huge shout out to Ro. Ro has been a huge supporter. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Andrea, I wanna give you a shout out. Thank you so much for the Cash App. I really do appreciate it. Debbie, I'm not gonna lie. Debbie, I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the Cash App. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That really is going toward my journey it really really is i really appreciated that because you helped me with some of that spray paint thank you so much last but not least i wanted to give a big shout out to tony thank you so much i see all of the comments that y'all leave i really do appreciate it y'all like for real y'all are friends y'all are fam y'all are everything thank you so much for being a part of my family i really just want to come and say thank y'all so much shout out to y'all Again, if I didn't get around to you, don't worry about it. I will. 
some of y'all I'm gonna have to I don't know get on a live and ask y'all how to pronounce y'all name because I'm not trying to embarrass myself like that but thank you guys so much Mwah. thank you for the support thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you but yes if you made it to the end of the video I wanted to say thank you so much I appreciate it go ahead and do me a little favor go ahead and like comment subscribe Turn on your post notifications and I will see y'all in the next video. Come on, y'all. Let's get excited. We about to move in in a month. Yes, y'all. If I can build this stuff. I said if I can build this stuff. Alright. See y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.